Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu. Welcome to another episode of Learn New Effect in 5 Minutes. Today we'll talk about Google Suite. So the idea is like this. You have uh, this uh, G Suite uh, activity, so you can go here and install the UiPath G Suite activities, and you will have a lot of activities that will help you to work with Google. Okay. Now, to be able to configure uh, the Google to work with the uh, UiPath, you have this G Suite ap application scope, and on this G Suite application scope, you need to provide the client ID and client secret. To be able to get this stuff, you need to do these steps. First, you'll go to console uh, uh, to console developers.google.com. So you will copy paste this one on your um, Google Chrome. I will be logged in because uh, he knows my uh, uh, my uh, my user. Then I will go here and create a new project. Let's say test you. Tube now. Yeah. I hit create. Good. So you see that the, the system will create this uh, um, this project. After he creates this project, I will go and select this project. So I'll select the project test YouTube now. Then inside of this project, I have to enable APIs. So I have to decide with what APIs I will work. You know that Google Suite has a lot of APIs. A lot of system. In my case, I will want to work with Google Sheets, and for this, I will use, or I will enable Google Sheets, and I will also enable Google Drive. So I will go also to enable Google Drive to be able to access the Google Sheets. So I will say enable. You see that this will be uh, enable, and uh, uh, in this way, will will give the accessibility. Yeah, this uh, will get the accessibility. Now, after I enable both. Um, um, both activities, Google, uh, uh, Google, uh, Google Sheets and Google Drive. I will go further and I will create credentials. Yeah. So the idea is like this: I have to put an auto authentication, and in my case, the system it's an external system. Yeah, because we'll call this from your iPad. So I'll create an uh, auto authentication from uh, outside. I will say if you iPad. Support email, I'll put my email, uh, and here uh, on the email, I'll put uh, my same email for the developer. Yeah, gmail.com. Save and continue. After I create this one, save and continue. I don't need uh, other uh, back to dashboards. Good. Then I will go to credentials, yeah? And on credentials here, I have to create an O2 authentication. So I will say create credentials. I will say O2 authentication client. And here I have to select a desktop application because UiPath is a desktop application. Here I can put a name, desktop UiPath, if I want. Doesn't matter. And I say create. And the system will create me the Client ID and the client secret. And I have to copy paste this client ID and client secret and put it inside of your path. So I'll put Control A. Not this one. I say here copy. And I will say Control V. And I will copy the other one. And in this way, I get my connection with uh, uh, with the system. Yeah? So that that are the steps, the easy steps to be able to to connect to G Suite uh, application scope. Yeah. So remember, this is very important. All the configuration you have to do it inside of the console developers google.com. Okay. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel, and um, comment uh, on my movies and tell me what else you want to see inside of my um, movies. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.